Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, but if you're new here then welcome, my name is Aika and I would really love for you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red button down below and also press the bell button to be notified each time I upload a new video. So today I have um, a clothing haul from very affordable brands like Zara, um, something from H&M and also Massimo Dutti but also I've got something from Hermes and I actually received a present from my sales associate and it was actually the very first time I received a present from uh, such uh, a big brand and I was really surprised it was very unexpected so I'm gonna share that with you as well I didn't open it so I have no idea what's inside but I'm very curious to know so without any further ado let's begin so the very first item I'd like to share with you are these pants from Zara they're in this khaki green color and I think this color is so big right now because I see this kind of color and also mint colors everywhere uh, on everything so I think this is like the color of the summer I might be wrong I don't know these pants were 39.90 Swiss francs and I got them in size small because I think they run just a little bit big or maybe they're supposed to be a little bit like oversized what i really loved about these pants is that they're very lightweighted they're very very thin so i think they're gonna be breathable for summer they also have um, these two pockets which are quite big and also they have the silver details on both sides which is really nice and it makes them look a little bit dressier than they are uh, without the two stripes and also at the bottom um, they are tied with an elastic band so yeah i really like that they're breathable the design the color is just very gorgeous and i can't wait to start wearing them once the weather gets better so the next item that I wanted to share with you is another pair of trousers and um, they are in white color and I always wanted to have them in white. They are pretty simple, there is nothing like very special about them but what makes the whole difference I think are these two buttons right here. They are so big and brown and they really stand out a lot and I think um, they're gonna make the whole look more put together in a way. Um, so yes, they are very nice. I got them in size medium because the waist part is pretty tight um, and they were $49.90 so very affordable and very on trend right now. And the last item that I got from Zara was actually this shirt. It is a linen shirt and linen is also very popular this season. But this material was always like one of the best ones you can wear during summer because it is very light, it is very breathable. And it looks, it looks like nothing right now, but once I put it on, you'll see the difference. So what I really love about this shirt is definitely the fit. It looks very nice and I think it makes me look skinnier a little bit. And I also love the length of both the sleeves and the shirt. It is just the one that I prefer the most. And um, also there is... Um, a little bit of cleavage like you can see a little bit of it but I prefer to tie it up a little bit stronger so it covers the cleavage so yes I really love the cut of this shirt this shirt is definitely my favorite one I was gonna wear it last night but it was six degrees outside so I've decided to <laughs> leave that idea for a little bit and also I got it in size small and it was $49.90 which is also a very good price for a linen shirt in my opinion and um, yeah it's very very flattering and nice and I think you can wear it 
both in the evening and during daytime it just depends on the bottoms that you are styling this shirt with so if you put a pair of shorts then you can easily go to the beach and enjoy the nice weather in the bar or something meeting your friends having lunch but if you style it with black pants and jeans I think you can easily turn this shirt into a night out shirt so it is also very versatile which I love the next item that I want to show you is from Massimo Dutti it is also a linen piece but um, it is a pair of shorts they're not too short and um, they're very very light and breathable and perfect for summer for going to the beach this were a little bit more expensive like Massimo Dutti is a little bit more expensive than Zara but also I feel like the quality is much better so I got them in size 38 and they were 75.90 Swiss franc which in my opinion is a little bit overpriced but considering the quality of uh, these shirts I think it's totally worth it well we'll see during summer but uh, yes I really love them they're in this white color with beautiful greenish leaves they're like mint and dark green color all over the shorts so yes you see I'm telling you this is like an eat color of this season and I actually really like this color so it's a win-win the next item is also from Massimo Dutti and it's this shirt in this baby blue color with um, grayish like leaves and flowers this print is very nice and it is also like very summery uh, I don't know <laughs> it's just so cool I loved it so much and it is also a linen shirt and what I absolutely love about it are definitely the buttons they are so amazing I love this vintage looking buttons in brown color I don't know why and also these sleeves they don't look like a regular shirt sleeves I think I think they look a little bit more interesting and I think I'm gonna style it with a pair of white pants or even black pants I think it doesn't really matter I think it also depends on where you're planning to go if you're in summer going out to have some lunch with your friends for example I I'd prefer wearing it with a pair of white trousers so it has a more like summery relaxed look but if I'm gonna go to a meeting or something formal I think I would prefer styling it with some darker pants to give it a more like stricter and calmer overall look and I took this shirt in size 38 and this was also 75.90 just like the shorts so yes um, as you can see Massimo Dutti is a little bit uh, more expensive than Zara but the quality again is really really nice and the last clothing piece that I wanted to share with you is from H&M and it's this top it's in this like nudie color with balloon sleeves it is so much fun I also really like the color on this shirt it looks very different from the ones that we see nowadays and when I showed it to my husband he actually said that I look like someone from a medieval period from I don't know like a Shakespeare play or you know this series about kings and queens like rain for example um, they all used to wear <laughs> this kind of shirts men especially and I didn't get offended at all because That's what hooked me to buy this shirt because it really looked like something from uh, the medieval period and I also enjoy the balloon sleeves so Yeah, <laughs> it is very nice very light and I think it's cute and lastly I wanted to share with you something I picked up from Hermes and also I wanted to show you the little gift that I received from my sales associate so while I'll do the unboxing I'm gonna tell you a story of how I met with uh, my sales associate basically I was never really into the brand at all 
so here is the box. I was never really into the brand simply because I felt like um, it was too expensive for an ordinary person to want and I could not justify the price because I remember once my father actually wanted to get a Birkin for my mom and um, in order to to get like a bag to be offered to buy a bag you had to spend uh, 10 million tenge it's a currency in Kazakhstan in order to buy it and it is like twenty six thousand dollars when they set the price I was in shock <laughs> really because I can't even think of anything you would want to buy on for twenty six thousand dollars in our mess of course you can buy shoes you can buy some ready-to-wear pieces you can buy some china I don't know you can buy different things but at the same time imagine how long it would take for you to spend this amount just to buy a bag which costs almost three times less we just could not justify it and I thought it was a big joke so I was never into the brand and also when I looked at their shoes at their other bags I was like who buys that it looks ugly it looks like it is made for older people like not to offend anyone but I would see like that time I would see my grandmother wearing something like that from her mess of course our taste changes and I also changed my perception of this brand that time I had a couple of items from her mess but they were all gifts from my parents and from my friends um, but me personally I was simply afraid of going there I was afraid of their prices but then once um, they made the online store so you could actually browse there and like see the items with the prices i've realized that there is nothing to be afraid of the prices for the shoes for example are pretty much the same as in louis vuitton or chanel then uh, my boyfriend like my husband now but before we got married uh, he was buying me some gifts from Hermes and he actually liked a couple of items himself and he would buy everything in geneva so he had this sales associate a man helped him out all the time and uh, then I met the man also and I told him that I was actually looking for a Birkin or a Kelly um, and he said well it's a it's a long waiting list I said well don't worry it's okay and that was a year ago so he put me on the list for a Kelly two months later we like stopped hearing anything from him we never saw him in the store anymore and then there was another Russian sales associate and I told her that I'm on the list. Could you please check? Maybe you have received something for me. And um, she checked in the system and she told me, but you're not on the list. And I was really surprised and I was mad. I felt horrible for thinking that I was on a list for six months, but apparently I wasn't was very confusing and um, um, I don't know I was really upset I was mad at the guy and um, then we found out that he doesn't work there anymore because we never see him in the store anymore but then once we came to the store it was I think about a month maybe two months ago so we went to the store and we met this lady and she was very very nice uh, we basically she checked on the system and she said well actually you are on the line for Kelly so don't worry it's coming but she said like my history wasn't the best one because all the time we make purchases it goes on my husband's name so I said but it is my husband can we combine the two accounts together and she said, yes, of course, we can do that. So you will have a mutual account. Whenever one of you comes, it will go on a mutual like system thing. Uh, so we did that. We, I spoke a lot to her about the bags and how I was looking for one. 
and she said you know it is not really about what you buy in the store what we really want to see is that you are like a loyal customer that you come to our store only like in geneva that you come and buy something every once in a while it doesn't have to be a crazy purchase like you don't have to come and buy evelyn's all the time um, she said it can be anything we just want to see that you're loyal to the brand and that you actually come and buy things from us and i I was surprised, I was like, oh really? Like you you don't really mind the amount of money I spend in the store? And she's like, well, of course not. We cannot do that. The only thing that we wanna see is that you come to us and you buy like things once in a while. Like if you come to the store once a month or maybe once every two months and then it will be way easier to get a bag but the reason that they do that is that they're afraid of people buying the bag and then reselling it for a higher price because even if you go on vestiaire these bags are double the price of the retail one which is ridiculous and that's why they're creating all this like policies and making it very difficult to get a bag so we came to the store she was really nice um she actually recognized us although i thought she wouldn't because it was the first time we actually met so she recognized us we were looking for some shoes for my husband um we ordered them and then i was also looking for this item because i saw it on the website and i really loved it and then again we started talking about the constants uh, this is like my dream bag <laughs> and then the kelly uh, that i'm still waiting about different leathers absent togo whichever i would prefer better the colors like we were discussing everything and then she said but don't forget you have to come to our shop only it's better it's better for your record in the store and I said well <laughs> the only thing I bought somewhere else was um, the Rodeo the little charm because I didn't think that they had them in Geneva and they actually didn't have the color that I got so I was like like I was joking with her but I told her that yes I am already preparing for my bag so I have the Rodeo, I have Twilies and everything is ready it's just the bag that's missing we had a good laugh she was very sweet so we got the shoes we got this item then I made the payment and she came to me with uh, my purchase with this bag she gave it to me and then she had another little box and she was like well i wanted to give you a present for me it is not something crazy but i'm sure you're gonna like it anyway so it was so sweet of her considering the fact that she only met me twice it was the sweetest thing um, that she could do I was over the moon happy so I uh, that moment when she gave me the present I was actually confident that this time with this sales associate I will actually get my dream bag maybe not even one but a couple we'll see so yeah now let's get back to the unboxing I just really wanted to share this story with you because I was really surprised. We uh, buy a lot of things from different brands, but we were never offered a present. And receiving a present from Hermes was very like, what? Are you kidding me? Of course, I would accept it. So let's, yeah, let's open the box. So I got myself a mug. And I loved it from the first time I saw it. This is the card. It is the Arch Deco. And here it is. On the picture, I actually thought it was a little bit bigger. But, um, well, it's not really. It's 30 mil, but I think it's an average cup size. It has these details and from far away, they look like columns. To me, can you see that? I'm not even sure. But I really love the neutral colors that it was, it looks very luxurious. 
I love a lot of different mocks from them, but this one especially, it looked very simple, but very elegant and uh, I don't know, I love the lines, like these columns. And this is my very first mock from Hermes. And she told me, well, it always starts with a mock. It was very expensive. It was 100 Swiss francs, which is, in my opinion, very, very, very expensive for a mug, but I sold something that day, so I had some cash and I've decided to go for it, especially since it will look good in my portfolio in the store. Um, yeah, very cute little mug. And so now let's finally get to the present because I am so excited to see what it is. I can't believe I received a gift from Hermes. Okay, so it is wrapped really nicely. And here it is. Yes, she said that there was an instruction inside and it is sort of like a DIY project kind of thing. So let's try and do it together now maybe, shall we? I'll put the box away. Let's just open and see. Okay, so from what I can see now, it is a piece of blue leather. Okay. And a little strap. I don't know what it is. It's like a little leather piece. Okay, here is the picture of how it should look. So it is like the head of a horse. Can you see? And I think this is the color that I got. Wow. Yes, it says Tête de Cheval, horse head. <laughs> this is the little instruction booklet. Okay, and I have uh, all the instruction in here. Let's try and do it. Number one, it says, thread the tie from flesh to grain side through hole A, pulling it halfway through. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I take the thread and tie from flesh to grain. Okay, so this is, the suet part is the flesh and this part is the grain. Mm-hmm, hole A. Before starting, identify the grain side and the flesh side and place your leather so the grain side is visible. For each step, be sure to pull the tie tight. So I think what I should do is to go from... Am I doing it right? I think so. And now I'm just pulling it out from here. Number two, thread the tie from flesh to grain side through hole B. This is what we got so far. Moving on to number three. So guys, this is the end result. This is my new Hermes charm handmade by me. I am so proud that I actually managed to do it. It was very complicated in some parts, but I think we did a great job and now I have another beautiful Hermes charm in my collection for my future bag. I'm very excited. It is so pretty. It is so freaking cool and I can't believe I actually made it myself. How awesome. So, um, yeah, well, I guess this is it for my today's haul. I told you the story behind this gift. I was very surprised that I got it. Have you guys ever gotten any presents from Hermes? Let me know in the comments down below. And um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.